Hello, this is Hydroid, and in this video I'm going to show you how to easily find the sum of two matrices and if it's defined or not using a website slash program called Sage. So what Sage is, basically I'm going to be using the Sage math cell. I'll have a link in the description below for it, but as it says here, it's an open source mathematics software that uses the Sage language. It's kind of similar to MATLAB if you've ever used it. Actually, it's pretty similar. It's programmed in Python, and it makes calculus a lot simpler and linear algebra or whatever you're using. So this problem calls for two matrices. And in order to make a matrix, I'm just going to call them A and B, as in the problem. Type in A equals matrix, and then parentheses. And then you're going to have um, rows columns, and then in brackets, you're going to have just all the numbers. So the, for A, it has two rows and two columns, and then it has 8, 7, 4, 7. And then matrix B also has two rows and two columns. Is negative three, three, nine, negative five. All right. And the question wants us to find four a plus three b. So there's two ways you can do it in Sage. Either you can do print, or you can do show. I personally like show just because it makes it a lot, look a lot cleaner. But I'll also show you what it looks like in print. There's actually three ways to do it. You could do C equals parentheses. And now in Sage, you can't just do 4A plus 3B because computers are dumb. You have to do 4 times A plus 3 times B. And then do show C. Or to do another way, you could simply just do show parentheses. 4 times A plus 3 times B, which prints out the answer. And if you look at the answer, you can see it's correct. Now, what does print look like? Well, I'll show you. This looks like that. Let's do another example. This one's a little bit more complicated to read, but it's essentially the same principle. So we have A has two rows and three columns, and B is the same. So I just simply enter the numbers in order. So 3, 0, negative 4, negative 3, 6, 6, and then negative 1, 2, 2, 9, 1, 4. So we got those. And it wants us to do CA plus DB. And C is equal to 5. So we're going to do ta 5 times A plus negative 3 times B, because that's what D is. I'm going to evaluate that. And then we get the correct answer. So now how to find out if it's defined or not. Well, that's really simple. Let's get rid of that. So we're given two matrices. A and B, and A has one row and four columns, and B has two rows and three columns. So we're just going to enter those. Negative 1, 9, negative 6, 7. And we're going to enter B. And I'm going to quickly do A times B and see if that's defined. It's not. What about B times A? It is also not defined. Is B plus A defined? Nope. Therefore, we get the answers. The product is not defined. Let's try another example. Given two matrices. I'm going to quickly type this one in.
and we want to find out if AB and B, B, A are defined. So we're going to do A times B. All right. So the first one, A, is defined, but the second one is not, which is correct. And that is how to use SAGE to solve addition and multiplication of matrices and if they're defined or not.